We're going to do a unique way of planting. Now, I saw this online, a, a different scenario type of planting. You can use one of these decorative vases or vases or whatever you call it. And we used this last year for bush beans, and it was a relatively successful experience until we had it in the window bay, and we'll fix this with the potatoes, that the beans came up and squirrels or rabbits or something gnawed them down. So we're going to do it, going to put the potatoes on the porch back in the corner there because they can't handle partial shade. And what we're going to plant in this particular vase, vase, whatever, uh, is one Russian banana finger link potato. Obviously, we're working with a very minimal amount of space in here. So we're just going to go one. And I go with the banana Russian finger link from Wood Prairie Farms because if we use big potatoes, like normal size potatoes, they may not come out of here because they may get you know too big and get stuck or whatever. And I don't want to break this to get potatoes out. Well, if I have to. So what we first want to do is, and this is not necessary, but uh, we're going to put sand in the bottom. Now, with this particular vase, it didn't have uh, drainage holes, so I took and punctured a couple holes in the bottom, and you can set this in a drain pan or something so it doesn't drip all over your, your patio or, or porch. So we're just going to take some regular sand here and just going to add a little bit to the bottom, not much, just for good drainage. I get that all leveled off there. Then I'm going to take some leaf certified leaf compost from Sue's here and I'm going to fill it about halfway full put my potatoes in on my potato in uh, good black gold there which just won't take much because it is a very small area and we're about half full there yeah, we'll go now what I'm going to do is we had these chitting or getting the eyes put on the potato inside for a couple of weeks so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply take and push this potato right down in the center there. I'm going to put about a half a scoop more. Now this uh, container is about the equivalent of what a shovel full would, would be. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're wanting to uh, exact measurement. I'm just going to cover it about four inches above the potato. And then once the potato begins to emerge, we'll go ahead and backfill it and heal it up basically in the container. So another unique way of growing potatoes in a vase. On but another foot. option is planting in containers and we've got two different types of containers here that we've planted potatoes in. Uh, this is a, a vase, a vase, uh, whatever technical term you want to call it. We uh, planted these on a quick tip real early in the season. We put one Russian banana, ba banana link uh, banana finger link in this container. Uh, we kind of kept it watered, sometimes we forgot about it. So we're going to see what uh, we ended up with. Oh wow, look at that. That whole thing came out. That's... Oh my. Now remember, we planned one, one Russian banana finger link uh, potato in it. About that size is what we put in that vase there. We, all, we do have a drain hole in it and some sand we put in the bottom. For better drainage. That's the seed potato there. There we go. That's uh, so we toss that. So what do we have here just in this vase here? These Russian banana link uh, banana finger links are incredibly good when you fry them up uh, in any way that you uh, want to cook them. So one banana Russian banana finger link. We got uh, I'm not too uh, upset about that little harvest in a vase that otherwise was going to be uh, not in use at all and we used it to grow some potatoes. For more and information please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com